Hey there gang, Kawaii50 here with another video for you, and I just wanted to share something that I ended up finding out recently. I recently beat Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, uh, today actually, a solid 8 out of 10 game, really enjoyed a lot of it, but uh, one thing I realized in the end is if I wanted to get super powerful demons like Shiva, then I really needed to do a bit of farming. So I was digging around trying to find some stuff, and this was posted on R Mega 10 by Olmos's Dog. And yes, I'm giving credit where credit is due. And I just wanted to share a video of how this ends up working. This is my own recorded footage. Hopefully, this video helps you out when it comes to farming. If it does, consider like, subscribe, comment, share, etc. New kind of video I'm trying to do. Hopefully, you like it. Now, in order to do this method, you're going to need the Mitama DLC. And this Mitama DLC, uh, this runs like three dollar dues on PlayStation Network right now per, and that's in USD. Uh, I actually ended up having all of the DLC, so I was able to go ahead and do this, but you might end up having to go and purchase individually. Uh, kind of sucks that this is the method where you have to do it, but if you don't have this DLC, well, farming is a multi-hours long chore and not something you can do consistently. So, if you end up going to Ueno Park Slayline Fountain in Taito, you can go ahead and take the Magatsuhi Rail that you have already seen me take over here to this little section here. Now, normally there's just a bunch of dogs hanging out over here, but once you have that DLC installed, you're going to see a huge number of Mitamas. Now, in order to successfully farm these Mitamas, exploit this correctly, you are going to need some specific demons in order to do so. You are going to need at least one Genma-style demon. I go with a Manosako just because I really, really like her. And you are going to need one demon with the passive crippling blow skill and Yasubame shot. I go with Abaddon because he's honestly been one of my favorite demons for multiple Shin Megami Tensei and Persona games. Uh, you can use an Attract Pipe or Ribarama in order to start chaining these all together or you can just farm everything single piece. You do you. Uh, you're going to beat the Mitamas, and if you are lucky enough to chain one or more encounter, you want to activate Magatsuhi skill luck. This increases the Maka and EXP at the end of the battle, but the effects stay active throughout consecutive encounters, and this is the key here. If you're able to activate this and destroy every single Mitama in one turn in every single battle, well, you're going to be able to farm a ton of Maka, a ton of Glory Crystals, a ton of grimoires and gospels as much as you need to rank up your characters to the maximum you can get an easy max level nahobino and max level demons this way so you'll be able to go ahead and summon basically anybody you want pull anyone from the demon compendium you want uh just use maka to get every single character boom there you go, you are all set to go. This is probably the easiest way to level in the game, and in just about not even an hour of farming, I was ready to go and take on the toughest bosses, and between essences and characters, I was able to delete everything super duper quick. Anyways, that's all I got for you, gang. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share, etc. if you ended up liking it. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching to the very end. I'll see ya in the next one.